that enemy reinforcements have come in on my side of the battlefield, which is good for me, bad for them, because it means they're right in killing range. I was a little bit worried about getting into their missile units. Don't have to worry about that now. As we're already into them. There's Rhesus on his chariots. Already slamming into the back line there. And of course, our melee boys getting in there as well, backed up by the giants. Oh yeah, already, already causing routes as our chariots continue to slam through the back line. Nothing stopping them. Hydra is coming in on this side of the battlefield. It's going to take a little while to get to us, and he's going to deal with the main army. I mean, it's not really much of a main army. Chariot's coming back to help out with any survivors. However, the enemy is bringing a lot of units to this battle, and more and more keeps spawning in as more mountaineers are now arriving, actually catching the chariots briefly. the chariots, I mean, they're just having a lo lovely whale of a time. They're just running people over. It's what they do. No mercy. Strike them down. You know, how long does it take to be trained as a chariot driver? I mean, li literally no time at all, because actually running people over is a bonus. Yeah. I mean, yeah, a few chariots have gone down, but to be... I mean, the, the sheer amount of carnage they're causing, I'm more than happy to sacrifice a couple of chariots. 239, 281, yep, just lots and lots of damage going on there. And, of course, the bonuses from uh, Rhesus. I think he's done the... We've got the uh, Furious Charge bonus, increases their charge bonus, and also makes it so when they charge, it's like they're doing a flanking charge. So, you know, that's pretty good. That's pretty natty, isn't it? These guys just getting torn to pieces. Oof. Infantry having basically routed most of the enemy army. The Burb is hunting down the enemy hero. Mind you, he's also getting run over by chariots, so there is that. And the Hydra is spitting at some Thracian bowmen who are attempting to flee into the trees, these guys as well. But that's not finished yet. Even more infantry now spawning into the battle. Arriving just in time to be roadkill. In come the giants as well, and a little poison attack, because why not? And here come the chariots. They're back! Imagine arriving on the battlefield, like, stepping to step over the bodies of a friend to go, why do these have, like, chariot marks all over them? And then you find out. warriors are rallying. Yeah, all these, all these guys, they, they'd be super dead. And that's the enemy army, the garrison, and the enemy reinforcements, well and soundly thrashed. The foe has sighted your hidden units. I'm fairly sure he should be more bloody than I am. That's, 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 that, fine. Um, indeed, really, fifth, okay, well, I'll obviously take the massive amounts of replenishment then. That just seems, seems far more likely. Uh, good. Right, we gave him a bloody nose. We've also got a Tocolus shield. Even Ares couldn't cast him down. Okay, well, good for him. And Saviour for a Clemon. More melee attack and speed of hero in battle. Oh. King Rhesus. Well, obviously Meet we're going to continue the siege until they start dying. We uh, well, I mean, maybe. Maybe we could take them, but let's not. You know, one of the things I really love about Troy is actually how it makes me think about what I need to do on the campaign map compared to Warhammer, which is basically just build the money buildings and maybe the recruitment buildings if you need them. Uh, whereas, it, you know, this this actually makes you you have to you have to consider things. You have to be thinking all the time. 
Um, we could get a temple to Hephaestus here, but what I'm thinking is maybe if we take this, we can knock down a temple to Artemis because pff, Artemis. Who likes Artemis? No one. And then we can get Hephaestus there, and then we can, because we're probably going to be expanding this direction anyway, we can then use it to upgrade our units. That's what I'm thinking. Mind you, we probably do need new units, don't we? Come to think of it, because, you know. You know. I might knock this down. I'm going to knock it down. Yeah, I'm going to knock it down. I'm going to knock it down, and I'm going to get the... Hang on. Do we get the... Yes, because then we need to get the Worshippers of Pan and the War Chancers. Because they're like better variations of the units we have. They will also get the bonus from the Temple of Ares in this settlement. Uh, in fact, we can... Oh, yes. We need to do this, don't we? We need to do this. This is what we need to do. Yes. And then... And then super-powered... Pan boys. Mmm. Indeed. Yeah, well, I love a, love a good pan boy. Uh, do I want the gold? Uh, the food? I do want the food. I need food. Kind of kind of hurting for food, because of course last time we had a bit of an accident in the farm. Everything burned down, and uh, that wasn't great. So we're now having to repair that. I don't know why I care about you. And uh, so, yeah, food, food a little bit of a problem. Um, we need to sort that out. Fortunately, I think we've got most of that fixed. Apart from that one, which we can fix now. But that is going to use all my stone, which is a bit of a bastard. I can wait. No, nor me. Uh, so, they'll run out of supplies in one Thank turn. Say so we could do a siege, but they're just always just Sebastian, absolutely brutal. You lose so many men in them that it just doesn't seem worth it. Just doesn't really seem worth it. Okay, so I want to upgrade this. We still don't have the stone. We want. I mean, I would have had the stone but I had to fucking repair that. Uh, I also want. Nope. Nope. Yes, this one. Oh, I can't get the pan boys because it has to be in a major settlement. That's what we need. I need more stone though. Um, well, I need wood anyway, so. And, you know, giants are cool and all, but I've already got all the giants, so I don't need more giants. Let Okay, let's... Let's see if we can get some stone off someone. Uh, rich in... Oh, I can do this now. Look at this. Literally no one's rich in stone. Well, fuck you guys then. I mean, you've got quite a lot of stone. I am raiding you, though. So you're probably not going to be super happy with me. You guys like me, but you won't like me for very long because I'm going to kill you. You guys... Oh, wait, no. I meant to... I meant to... You guys, that one. I suppose we may as well talk. Uh huh. Um, can you give me stone? Or is it you want stone? Oh, you think it's in short supply? It's not in short supply, is it, you dozy twat? Okay, Penny. I think you overestimate your appeal, my friend. I don't think I do. I'm a fucking. I'm lush, mate. I am fucking lush. Wow, you, 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 you like stone even more. So not you then. Okay, fucking. I'll go back to these guys, the ones who really As like. Athena wills it. I'll listen. Uh, you. Well, you've got pretty much everything. I don't. Ugh, fine. I just have to wait. I can't be bothered to dick about. Plus, I want all my resources. I don't have enough food, so I can't trade that. I want to keep my wood and stone, and I don't have any bronze really, and I'm definitely not trading my gold. So. Yeah, there we go. Big food increase. Holy shit. Look at all this food I've got now. So much food. I should raid, come down here and raid these guys, shouldn't I? I should make a countless army and go and raid those guys. That's what I, that's what I should fucking do. Uh, light infantry. What are the... Hang on. Come back over here. Let's build 
Are these light infantry? Medium, medium. Right, okay. So, this is heavy infantry, isn't it? Bronze is medium for some reason. Oh, we can get bonus to... Um, so, do I want this? This is the question. Upkeep reduction for all armies does seem quite good, so maybe let's head in that. I mean, we don't have the wood, but it's only 100, and we've actually got lots of wood coming in a turn, so I don't really need that. Um, I mean, ooh, we could always go for more stone, though, couldn't we? 160 extra stone. It's going to cost 450 gold, but... But, you know. You know. Favour per turn. More favour. I mean, sure. But, let's get more wood. So, let's do that. Also, we can upgrade to that. That's going to take five turns. We can always rush it for gold. I might end up doing that, actually. We can take them. Because I want to. I want, basically, I want Rhesus to have a big army full of big burly boys who can mash people with big hammers and shit and chariots, chariots and big hammers. That's what we're going for. The bigger, the better. I know what they say about size, and they're lying. It really is how big they are. Are you dying yet? Because I really would like it if you would die. Uh, 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 close enough. Oof, he's a gusher. Okay, so we lost, we lost some... Bo I don't care. I don't really care. This place is mine for the taking. Ooh, casualty replenishment rate is very nice. That's always good. I could always... Oh, look at that. We've got forest ambushes and shit, but who wants those? Acceptable. Now, where did your friend go? Oh, there he is. There he is, the little scamp. I'm just going to meander over this way. Going to meander in that direction. We're going to get more armor. Armor's kind of boring, isn't it? Who needs armor? Uh, we do have the Mountain Roar, which reduces speed and shit. Uh, it could also reduce... Reduce armor. Hmm. That's not bad. This increases that to 60 meters. That makes it... So if we go for this, then we have False Portents, which is 25% morale, or 25 morale. And this is then another 20 morale, which means if we use both of them together... Can we use both of them together? How much rage do we have? I don't know. It, I need to check. But, you know, that's potentially then a massive debuff. We could potentially break an army with that. Let's upgrade you as well. Then we've got all the things there. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Behold my big chariot building. Who's looking for a fight? Who oh, indeed. More income from raiding. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, because, you know, raiding is is good times. Hero not moved. You. No. Well, you don't really need to move. You just live there, really. Just raid them. I mean, they must be getting really annoyed by that. Yeah, they're getting pretty... They're fairly shitty about that, to be fair. The trespasses, the raiding. I like how the trespasses is almost as bad as the raiding. Like, yes, you're burning and, and pillaging... And looting, but also you're you're on our fucking grass, and that. <sighs> Rhesus is a recruiter. Oh. Good for him. I can hardly wait. King Rhesus, let me at them. What kind of garrison do we have here? Probably holy. Fuck, really? Did you build a recruit? You that built the beyond. you built the garrison building, didn't you, you sneaky little bugger? Oh, together. you little monkey. Head out. You little monkey. What's this do? Mother wants you. Uh, serve the mother, serve your people. Serve, uh, 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 raids. Take what you can. I mean, it's 511 food, which is not bad. Considering we do need the food. Okay, we do... Right, what do we have here? I mean, I don't need that. I don't need that. To be honest, I don't need that. I mean, the happiness is fine. I'll keep that. 
I'm tempted maybe to go some some um actually let's think about this. Maybe we do keep Artemis. Maybe we do, because maybe this is where we get our Hydra units from. Hmm. Throwing that cat amongst the pigeons. What does that mean? Just don't know. Not a big deal. Anyway, uh, right, we can do we do we need the influence at the moment? Because we have this, don't we? It is going up. It is quite slow. We could whack some more influence in there. Oh, you're not a happy boy. Oh, it's going up by one. It's just it's your, just look like a sad boy. Okay, that's fine. I don't really want the centaurs. Um, but I do probably need the bronze. So if we upgrade you, and then we go for this one. Actually, that's going to, so if we cancel that, and then we do this, it's going to cost less wood, isn't it? Then we have more wood to play with. Aha! Uh, yes, we need more food. I mean, more gold is always nice to have. And then the influence here is now going up by 1.1, which is still not a huge amount, but it's definitely better than it was. Melee defense for chariot units. Then we can go melee attack. Uh, what's this do? More morale. Don't really care about that. Uh, but when we can get the defense, we could potentially get more bronze. For our, for our medium units, get more more of that defense. That'd be quite nice. This is going to be a big rock here because uh, he he's gone for the garrison, which makes even a minor settlement quite a quite a tricky proposition. Oh, that's nice. Portents in the sky. Where? There. Okay, not the end of the world. I cannot do it. I think we're going to have... We're going to let a Clemon lead the fight here. Dip in Hydra blood. So we need... We need 25 vitality, which we don't currently have. But we can do that. And we can move you in. To join the party. Because if we have a look here, we can see they've, got, they've actually got some really nasty units here. They've got a lot of missile units as well, which is going to be an absolute fucking nightmare to deal with. We're just going to have to charge in and just try and kill everyone, I think. Yeah. Hydra's already getting in there, spitting at the uh, infantry as they move in, war chanters and Thracian spearmen. Also got a Clelion, Cle this guy, Hydra Boy. Hydra Boy is going to engage the enemy general while his men cluster around them, which is, you know, not generally the best idea because you've got javelins and a Hydra right behind you. So that's... That's just going to end up in you being a very, very poisoned. Ugh. Oof. Yeah, that's a lot of that's a, that's a lot of health damage right there. A lot of those boys dying. Uh, the Hydra is starting to rack up quite a few kills. More poison because why not? Oof. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Meanwhile, our chariots are already rolling into the city. They move all the way over the other side of the battlefield because, of course, they can. They're chariots. They're very fast. And that means that they have arrived inside the settlement uh, in the area where they just weren't defending it. Most of the defences are here and here. This area of the city was just completely undefended. And that means our chariots can get right in there and start doing some damage. This means units are now redeploying back to the city centre because they realise that they're in trouble. And we just now, uh, now need to push into the city. You can see that uh, Hydra Boy is, I mean, he's, he's taken a lot of damage, but he has regeneration, so he's actually probably fine. A few archers over there getting poisons, and a few units just running around, which is fine by me. Got a lovely little charge on these worshippers of Pan. These guys are actually quite quite scary. The mountain roar that is, it costs all of your rage, but it lasts for quite a while, so you can actually get two off at the same time and potentially break a big a big blob of enemies. 
There we go, routing them and then Victory. moving further into the city. Close enough to taste. See, it is. This map is actually a pain in the ass because if they can defend this area here, if they have a lot of archers, they can just rain fire down on everything. It's actually a bit of a nightmare. Uh, so it's, it's, a, it's a very difficult settlement map to, uh, to deal with. Taking a little bit of fire there as we move into the city. But as you can see, we're sort of herding them. One of your units has no the enemy more general ammunition. is now fleeing. We need to push these archers back. So big blob here. Any, we're basically cutting them off from reaching the city center. Rhesus running people over and then stabbing them. And then here comes the rest of the chariots. Getting right in there. I think we got the furious charge buff. Which basically means we now get extra charge bonus, because, you know, we needed that. And lots of these enemies now cut off and being cut down. Meanwhile, closing in on a few other units, for example, the Ghosty Boys catching some archers as they try to get away from the incoming hordes of Axemen. Greece has popped his Aristea, leaving a big pile of dead bodies behind him, and just rolling towards the city centre. The Burb is currently fighting off uh, a load of guys? I don't know. I think it's... Oh uh, yeah, I can't actually see now. Never mind. It's not really important. Burb is struggling a little bit. I mean, he's actually getting—he's actually getting some work done. He's not doing too bad there, but he's lost a lot of health. But fortunately, the chariots have arrived, and with one last raw debuff to knock out their morale, Fear my that's going to be enough to break some units, and that's going to be enough to break the entire army. There we go, one unit routing, and then another one, and then they all go. We only lost 13, but, you know, that was a lot of stuff to deal with. Thank, thanks, thanks, chariots. Good old chariots. Uh, the river will come. What's this do? So, is it like a sack? It looks like a, it looks like a loot and occupy. Oh, it's, oh, right, it's loot and occupy, but it gives... Big bonuses to... Okay. Okay, I see. Okay, and we've now got even more food. This is what we needed. Don't need that. Need more food. That's what we need. Uh, we'll upgrade you because more food. We're going to get the flow. That seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Good. I thought... I might do this. What does this do? So this will eat my own units. But it will give us vitality. So three vitality for every unit in the army. Right, okay. What I might do then... I'm Right, what I'm tempted to do... Let's basically dump off all these units. And even these, maybe. I'm going to keep these guys. So you get those. Forged in battle. I so you can keep them. them. These guys won't replenish, though, will they? I mean... It's not really the end of the world. I can live in without them. Of I want no stragglers. Okay, you book it over there. So. So. We should have this 
finishing yeah you know, this one no wait where is it that one so we have the war chanters we don't have that because we need more stone i could potentially trade for stone do i want to do that There's those are experts in flanking. So you probably want these as like your front line and then these guys as flankers because these guys will flank well. These guys have furious charge, which means that if they charge, they get the bonus for flanking anyway. <laughs> so even if you hit a unit in the front, it still says, yep, you're flanking. So that's fun. Uh, so that, that would be quite useful. We can't get that one yet. Or what does that one need? Great Temple of Themajig. Oh, we need an armory as well. A royal barracks, chariot assembly. So we need an art. What the fuck's an armory? Training camp, royal barracks. Hang on. Hang on. Marksman's range, military crown. Armory. There we go. That's what we need. We need one of those. Right, fine. Um, and we need a royal barracks to get those guys, so... We've made Ares proud this day. I guess we do want that, then. I guess we do. No one's more surprised than I am. But we do have plenty of food, so I do want to get another countless army. I'm tempted to maybe get rid of, like, the, the giant vanguards. Oh, they're big punchy boys, though. They are big punchy boys. I will keep them. I might get rid of the skirmishers. But I want to keep the burb. Burb. And Hail Hydra here. Uh, devoted to the... These guys are just better war chanters, aren't they? They're basically sort of... Oh, they're heavy. Last stand, Berserk. Last stand, I mean, Psychology. So they're not flankers. They basically can just wreck anyone in the face pretty easily. So we'll keep them. Uh, we do actually... I mean, once we've got the, the chariot assembly, we should... That's going to take four turns. We could finish it instantly. It's going to take two... Uh, no, it's taking two turns. That's not too bad. I would like that. And that's going to take four turns, which is a little bit long, but I, mean, I can live with it. Uh, what do we want? Uh, yeah, growth and happiness here. We probably want that until we get five. So we're almost there. And then we can change. And I could do that now, actually. I mean, recruit rank for chariots is not really going to. Chariots will kill a lot of shit anyway, so there's no real worry about that. I guess let's go 5% resources. Because you know me, I love my resources. And I want the growth here. That's going to cost some stone, though. How much is how much stone does this cost? That costs 410. So actually, we can easily afford that next turn. That is no problem. In fact, we can probably afford it this turn. If I don't upgrade you. Oh, no. We actually don't. Okay. What? How much do you cost? Oh, you cost loads. That's why we couldn't afford it. Okay, if I do that, because that's going to get us going faster. I'm not... This is kind of a secondary army, so it's, it's less important. It is of less import. Uh, what was I doing here? I was going to build this, wasn't I? Like, yes, I was going to do that. There we go. Right. Okay, happy with that. We could build this and that. That's going to give us more resources, which is more stone and wood, which is always nice. Let's Let's go with that. Yes, I know. Every time. Every... Okay, we're going to get... Skirmishers, you're out. Sorry. Sorry, guys. Okay, so... I'm going to finish those. Let's give us a big boost. We're up to uh, 650. We can do a Hecatomb for him as well. 
Oh, 650 is the max. Oh, yeah, so it is. So that was a complete waste of Hecatomb. Good, good. Pat on the back for me. Nice work. Mightiest of kings. Never mind. Uh, right. We can get the Thracian chariots. Now they cost 23 bronze each. So let's get three of them. Look at that charge bonus. 72. Ooh, that's very nice. Uh, and we also want some of these war chanters. Let's go three of those. That'll give us... If we go four of those... Yeah, something... Like, I mean, they've got a 59 charge bonus. That's 51 melee attack, 105 damage. That's that's pretty good. And that's that's not even before they're even... They're only, they're only, they're only rank one at the moment. That's insane. Oh, 54... Okay, getting a lot of... Getting a lot from eating our units. That's nice, I think. Is that nice? Maybe. Who knows? Bet they don't like being eaten, but fuck them. The, the, the Hydra Defenders, they're very tanky, and that's very good. But we're going to go for the flow here, because if we recruit... Because we'll have Artemis in this... So that's going to give more accuracy and ammunition. This itself gives more... Um, oh, it doesn't give more ammunition. Is it the next one up? Plus 10% ammunition. Yeah, so we do want that one. Oh, God, that's really expensive. Holy shit. Jesus. It does give five Hydra Archers, though. But holy crap, that's expensive. But the Hydra Archers are great because, of course, they can do poison at range, which is, you know, double trouble. Poison and getting shot in the face. It's, uh, it's a combo, not one you ever particularly want to have to deal with, but there we go. Uh, right, so we almost finished that. Let's get in there. Uh, just one turn there. We do want the... We want this one, really. We need more stone, which if we can upgrade you quickly, then we can get that. And then we can go for the... Mind you, do we get an extra stone from... No, we don't have an extra stone building. That's a shame. What does this... Hang on, what does this do? Game from the many become one post-battle option. Right. Oh, minus 5% upkeep to Hydra units faction-wide. I mean, that's nice. That's very nice. It's very expensive, but it's very nice. It's going to give us... Some, I, I want to go... I want to go this one, but it's going to reduce our growth by 70. Is that really a major problem in this province, though? I mean, we can actually get the next... If we have more stone. There's a lot of things to think about. That's what I like about that. Having the different resources is such a... It makes such a difference to the game. And it's such a good difference. Why the hell can I see this? The fuck is that? Oh, is that where the Hydra battle took place? I reckon that's probably where the Hydra battle took place. That's probably what that is. Um... Right, we need some more countless armies. Uh, thing is, if I get them, I can use them to... I don't think we can... I'm going to recruit this army, see how much food we have left over. However, I think that's actually going to be um, not too bad. And then we can get another couple of countless armies. We can set those to do more raiding. And then they'll probably pay for themselves. And also, they can sort of like pave my way forward. So that'll be quite useful. And we can also get a whole bunch of Hydra units... If we can spend the, the resources. What I want, though, is maybe... Like the Hydra Defend... Oh, mind you, it doesn't really matter, does it? It doesn't really matter. In fact, if we go here, we have another... So we could knock that one down. We could knock that one down. And we could get then something like... Um... Something like maybe Athena melee defense. If 
we go for the melee defense and get the hydra defenders in this province then that'll make them do what they're good at which is basically just standing there and tanking because the longer they stand there and tank the more poison damage the people attacking them take and as we saw in the hydra battle they can easily wipe out units by sheer attrition so as long as they don't die they will kill a lot of people. I also need Hephaestus somewhere though, um, but it's not as it's not as important because you can upgrade his like you can upgrade people in his um, at his temple anyway, so you don't actually need to recruit them there. Whereas you know Ares and stuff, you have to recruit the units in the region to get the bonus, um, which is why we're recruiting our chariots here because they then have seventy two charge defense, which is pretty fucking legit. So we'll finish off recruiting our Rhesus army, our brand new spanking new Rhesus army. We need to get Hephaestus somewhere. Uh, we need to take some more food settlements. We need to get some more countless armies. But that is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode.